so evil and comfortable living feeble. All over the world, we are back to go. Truth is coming now, that's what you Let's get into it. Let's get into it, y'all. So if y'all saw the title of the class today, the title of the class is The Color of Christianity. Mm. The Color of Christianity. And it was inspired, guess by who? Bishop Nathaniel. <laughs> Bishop posted a sudden in the group, and he just kept commenting on it over and over. He's like, hey, y'all, watch this, watch this, watch this. I'm like, man, what is going on? So I turned it on. I started doing the same thing in the group. Hey, look at this point. Look at this point. Look at that point. So... A lot of stuff was brought out, and uh, it actually came from a brother that has shed a lot of knowledge um, over the years in different um, topics and understandings um, dealing with hip-hop and witchcraft and all that type of stuff. He always used to go into that. Um, but when you watch his stuff, he don't have any identity. He don't know who he, who he is. When you read the Bible, it says the breath of life will come and it won't have skin. He trying to get the breath. Like I know you're going to hit on later with the deeds, but he definitely don't have the skin put upon him. He actually denies the skin. Denies the skin. <laughs> what? So, um, the color of Christianity, hold on, let me get the thumbnail because I got to show y'all what the thumbnail looks like. The reason why we got to go in on this is because people like to call us out without calling us out. But guess what? We see right through that. You ain't going to do that to us right. and think we ain't going to respond. Even though you don't want to debate, that's fine. We we gonna we gonna bring the debate to you, cause you just gonna keep getting exposed over and over and over again. You don't messed up with the wrong group. Right. We ain't P Diddy and uh and Jay Z. No sir. <laughs> we actually keep the law, statutes, and commandments, That's right. and the faith That's of Christ. Right. Let me see here. Color of Christianity. All right, here we go. Now I don't want that thumbnail. I want the thumbnail they use. I'm pulling it up right now. All right, there we go. Bam, got it. X Ministries. So. While I get that, while I get that, I'm posting the LDR now. Make sure y'all share the link, share the link, share the link. We want to get everybody in to watch this today because this is something that uh, your mother may watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your auntie may watch. A lot of people uh, watch Craig Lewis. So we're going to see. He stepped into your mama and them. Right. He stepped into the wrong uh, playing field. Right. Pull that up on the screen for me, uh, IT. Line it up, playboy. Yep. Line it up, boy, boy. <laughs> like my boy Cat Williams said. All right, there you go. You can leave it with the views and stuff. That's cool. So, the color of Christianity. Put it on the screen. The color of Christianity, a message by G. Craig Lewis of X Ministry. So, that came out yesterday. That came out yesterday. I don't know when it was taught, but he dropped it yesterday. Mm. Um, and look who's in the thumbnail. Mm -hmm. Look who is in the thumbnail. Mm -hmm. Now, it's funny, out of all the groups, everybody always put IUIC in the thumbnails. That's why you get them views. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. As we watched you out the video, he going to say he don't know who we are. Right. I don't know right. what wow. group. They all over the place. No. Yeah, right. But your thumbnail. <laughs> but your thumbnail somehow got us in there. Right. All up, boy, right. Boy. So we finna line it up. <laughs> as you see. I got the notebook today. I don't usually bring the notebook out for the radio. We just we just shoot from the hip. But I said, hey, I'm putting together something for this. So we're going to go in today. But before we do, y'all make sure the phone line's working. 407 This is going to be an inactive class today, y'all. Don't call too much because you might mess up the flow. But we need you to call in. Now, G. Craig Lewis, pull up his uh, biography while we're waiting on that first caller to make sure the phone, line, phone lines are working. So, uh, Pastor G. Craig Lewis, he um, is a Christian pastor of Adamant Believers Council in North Richmond Hills, Texas. He also travels with his ex-ministries that include speaking against the hip-hop culture. Now, like I stated, his um, avenue of teaching is not in biblical teaching, so to speak. He's not a theologian. Mm -hmm. He ain't a doctorate of the law like Christ was. Mm -hmm. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, caller. What's your name? Question of comment. Where you calling from? So they hung up. It's ringing still. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, caller. What's your name? Question, comment. Where you calling from? Shalom, Shalom. Most on Christ bless. This is Judah Ben Judah. Judah Ben Judah. Where you calling from? Yes, sir. New York at Fellowship and Headquarters. Okay, all pray. I think you called about two weeks ago, mm -hmm. uh, last week. Yes, this is the 10th caller. Okay, okay, all pray. Your <laughs> officer uh, Lahad got hey, you. I, I think got he, you. he reached out you. to you and got you on the way. I got you. I'll take care of you, bro. So, okay, I just figured I'd, I'd, I'd call in since y'all were just warming up the phone lines. I don't want to stop the rest appreciate of the show. You. Appreciate okay, you. all praise. praise. Thank you for calling in, bro. Yes, sir. All right, so let's get into it. Let's get into it. Uh, like I said, he speaks against the hip-hop culture. He's not a doctrinal guy. 
He's he's a Illuminati and all that type stuff. <laughs> so it's funny to me that now, 20 years later, he's been doing this for a minute, that now, all of a sudden, he's coming out against the Israelites. Whoa. Now, in the way, the tone that he's speaking, it sounds like he's getting some pressure mm. from oh. another place. Mm. And when you hear his message, you're going to find out where he's getting that pressure from. Mm. Because him, he ain't never been listed as a hate group. Mm -mm. He ain't never been listed on the SPLC and none of that. And he right. speak against the uh, Illuminati and all that other stuff. Mm. But because he denies who we are as a people, he denies that we got to keep the commandments. Mm -hmm. He is not a threat. Mm. So, quote this. Pastor G. Craig Lewis is not a threat to white supremacy. Nope. He's not a threat to Satan's uh, uh, reign. Right. Right. You ain't a threat because you deny who you are. Right. You say we won and we won people. That ain't in the Bible. One nation under God, indivisible, is not in the Bible. Mm -hmm. right. We went through the Constitution a few weeks ago. Right. That is not even for you if you want to rely on that. So we're going to get into it. Scroll down to X Ministries. X Ministries, read that for me. X Ministries was created to educate and inform Christians about Satan in order to protect their relationship with God with an eye to the second coming. Lewis has released a book and series of DVDs, both titled The Truth Be Behind Hip Hop, where he teaches that hip hop music has affected youth across America by leading them to Satan worship suicide and drug use and that hip-hop culture is the greatest attack on the youth of the world lewis argues that rap music and hip-hop are not the same with the latter being a subculture and a religion not a genre of music he also preaches about the importance of family and encourages youth on his weekly radio show on khvn in dallas texas lewis and ex ministries also offer followers to subscribe to the daily word delivered monday through friday Lewis has been criticized and is, as an extremist who hates secular music of any kind and misrepresents the hip-hop culture. Lewis has also targeted Christian leaders, including Kirk Franklin and T.D. Jakes. His ministry has also encouraged the destruction of CDs and other hip-hop merchandise. On his official website, Lewis provides responses to critics of his ministry. So, just so you get an understanding of who he is before we get into it, his background is in that. That's what his background is. He ain't never said a peep about doctrine, about the Israelites, mm. about who we are as a people. He don't dive in that area. Right. So he's swimming in water that he ain't used to. Uh -oh. So we finna destroy all the lies that was taught by this man in this video mm -hmm. because it's false. Mm. Right. So let's get straight to it. Let's get straight to it. Let's go to 147 to 207. Hey man, we don't believe black supremacy. We don't believe white supremacy. We don't believe any human supremacy because there's only one supremacy. There's only one supreme being. And that is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Only one. So that's what he started off with. He, he wanted to make sure you know, hey, we don't believe in no supremacy here. Now, let me ask you all this. The doctrine of not believing in a uh, 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 supreme race, where did that come from? And when did that start? Because it wasn't during slavery that that started. Right. It wasn't until they took the chains off of you and you were able to read that they right. said, hey, no, we all one people. Right. Everybody's the same. Because guess what? Before the white man was ruling, we were ruling. Mm -hmm. And we understood that we were above all people. But guess what? It don't matter what the white man did. It don't matter what we did. What matters is what the Bible says. He said there's no supremacy. Mm -hmm. Let's see what God says about that. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. Let's see what the Bible says. Is there a supreme race upon the face of the earth or are we all one nation are we all no jew nor greek and we all one under god if you even understand what that means which you don't we're gonna touch that later but go ahead read that the book of deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6 uh-huh for thou art in holy people hold on hold on thou what in holy people so there's a group of people on the earth that are holy, mm -hmm. meaning what? Different, meaning what? Special, Special. meaning what? Supreme Absolutely. above everybody else. Well, let's see what the Bible says. Keep reading. For thou art in holy people uh -huh. unto the Lord. 
Lord thy God. Read. The Lord thy God had chosen hold thee. Hold on, hold on. If you are supreme, that means you are chosen. Mm, that's right. But the Bible says that we were chosen. Read. Had chosen thee uh-huh. to be a special hold people. Hold on, hold on. To be what? A special people. God says he chose the Israelites to be a special people. That's so what right. the hell Craig Lewis talking about? He ain't reading right. the Bible, Cap. What the hell is he talking about? Keep reading. A special people uh-huh. unto himself. Read. Above. Hold on. Equal. Above. Equal. Above. Uh, what's another word for equal? Because <laughs> <laughs> Same. I, I, yeah, so, so they the same as all people? Above. Yeah. Read. All people that are upon the face of the earth. Mm. 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 Give me Exodus 19 and 6. You know, that's and, why they got to do away with the Old and, Testament. And I'm going to start in the right. Old Testament because he says he believes in the whole book. Right. He said, he said you, it. He said you got to mature right, to get into right, the New right. Testament. Mm. So we're going to start in the Old because you never start a book in the, right. in the, in the middle of the book, right? Right. right. So we got to show you what the president was set in the Old Testament, mm. that God had a chosen people. Mm. Then we're going to go to the New Testament and show you that it didn't change. Keep mm. reading. Exodus chapter 19 and verse 6. Uh-huh. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests. Hold on, hold on. You shall be what? A kingdom of priests. We were ordained to be a kingdom of priests. Free. And a holy nation. Hold on, mm. hold on, hold on. A same nation? A holy nation. Hold on, hold on. If you got a whole holy nation, what the rest of the nations is? Uh-oh. <laughs> Keep reading. <laughs> a holy nation. Uh-huh. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Hold on. You're supposed to tell everybody that, Moses. Unto the children of Israel. Unto the children of Israel are a uh, holy people. Word. Not all people ain't the same. That's right. Bible you read. Right. From there, go to 2 Samuel 7. 2 Samuel chapter 7 and verse 23. 2 Samuel chapter 7 and verse 23. Uh-huh. And besides thee, according to all that we have heard with our eyes. Uh-huh. And what you, you at 2 Samuel? 2 no, no. Samuel 7. 2 yes, Samuel chapter 7, 7 and verse 23. Uh-huh. Yeah. And what's one nation? Hold on, and what? And what's one nation? And what one nation? In the earth is like thy people. Read. Even like Israel. Read. Whom God went to redeem for a people uh-huh. to himself. Oh, so God went and got these people himself? Read. And to make him a name. Uh-huh. And to do for great things uh-huh. and terrible. For thy land. Read. Before thy people, which thou redeemest to thee mm-hmm. from Egypt. Read. From the nations and their gods. Keep reading. For thou hast confirmed to thyself. For thou hast confirmed to thyself what? Thy people, uh, Israel. Read. To be a people unto thee. How long? Forever. Oh, no, 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 no. I know that don't mean in the New Testament it changed. Mm-hmm. It had to have changed in the New Testament. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. It had to because Pastor Craig just said, "Ain't no supremacy no more." Stop the cap. Mm. Let's see that that change. Let's go to the Book of Matthew, mm. chapter two and verse six. Maybe it changed. Christ came on the scene. He was born of a virgin immaculately, and now everything changed. Right. Can you lend Let's see. a pencil? <laughs> <laughs> Please, write this down, Craig. Matthew two and six. Read that. Matthew chapter two and verse six. Uh huh. And thou Bethlehem, uh huh, in the land of Judah. In the la- so he's still. Talking about the Israelites, read. Are not the least among the princes of Judah. Uh huh. For out of thee, for out of the line of Judah, read, shall come a governor uh-huh. that shall rule my people, Ooh. Israel. Hold on, hold on. What book you reading in? Matthew chapter 2 and verse 6. That sounds like the New Testament. Why in the New Testament are we still talking about the Israelites if we are one people? Right. Mm. Why is that? Mm. Can somebody explain that to me, Mm. Pastor Craig? (laughs) Give me John chapter 1 and verse 31. This man that came to be a a, a, a ruler of the same people that God chose in the Old Testament. Right. Why is it still saying the same thing in the New Testament? Read. John chapter 1 and verse 31. Uh Uh-huh. And I knew him not. But that he should be made manifest. Hold mm. on. He should be what? Made manifest. To who? To Israel. So Christ was only to be manifested to the nation of Israel. So you got to ask yourself something. 
if you're reading in the scriptures mm-hmm. and you're implying that he's for everybody, guess right. what? You must have got it wrong. Mm. You must be confused. You must be blinded, just like the Pharisees and the scribes. Mm. They didn't understand it either. Because when you read, there are a group of people that were appointed mm. to be what? To be blinded. Right. Pastor Craig is one of them. Go to uh, Matthew 15. This the, is this the, this the banger. Matthew 15, 21. And we're going to read on down. The book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 21. Uh-huh. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre uh-huh. and Zidon. Read. And behold, a woman of Canaan uh-huh. came out of the same coast. A woman of Canaan came out to talk to Christ. Read. And cried unto him, saying, have mercy on me, O Lord. She's asking for mercy from the supreme race, the supreme Jesus. Read. O oh Lord, thou son of David, uh-huh. my daughter is grievously vexed with a devil, Three. but he answered her not a word. Uh-huh. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, send her away, for she crieth after us. Christ, the disciples said, get this heathen away from us. Right. Christ didn't say, oh, you're so harsh. Right, right. Why would you talk to one of our Gentile sisters right. like that? Read. But he answered and said, I am not sent, uh-huh. but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ said, I'm only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Read. Then came she and worshipped him, uh-huh. saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, it is not meat to take the children's bread. To take what? The children's bread. Christ said, it ain't right for me to take the children's bread, the nation of Israel's mm-hmm. bread. Read. And cast it to dogs. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That sound like supreme to me. That sounds like supremacy. That sound like a supreme race to me. You, you sure the Lord said that? Man? That's we gotta read Christ that again. Said. Read it again. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meat to take the children's bread and cast it to dogs. Read. What did she say? And she said, Lord, truth, Lord. Hold on. She said what? Truth, Lord. She said what? Truth, Lord. She said I know they you might supreme. not have read this scripture before. She said, I know you supreme, Lord. I know that the Israelites are the supreme race, Lord. Mm-hmm. I know that. Truth. But Pastor Craig said, no, that ain't true. <laughs> that ain't true. What? We all won. Because it ain't no, uh, uh, what he said? It ain't no black supremacy. Mm-hmm. It ain't no white supremacy. Mm-hmm. We all just worship a translucent Jesus. Mm-hmm. Why? He did say that. <laughs> we gonna get it. Translucent. We gonna get it. We gonna get it. Keep reading. She said, "What truth, Lord?" And she said, "Truth, Lord." Uh huh. Yet the dogs. The what? Mm-hmm. The dogs uh-huh. eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Hold on. So if you got a master mm-hmm. and you got a dog. Somebody is in a supreme position. Right. So what the hell he right. talking about? And guess what? We went from the old to the new. That's right. Now show us what we wrong and at. And she followed after him. And she <laughs> followed after him. Mm-hmm. If y'all got that's good. Now, from there. I got one. Okay, just go just give me one because you on fire, Captain. <laughs> right, I'm going right, to make right, it quick. Right. Give me that in uh, Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Bring it out. Bring it out. out. The book of Luke, chapter 1 and verse 68. Uh-huh. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed mm. be the Lord God of Israel. Right. For he had visited. He has what? He had visited uh-huh. and redeemed. So now we're talking about redemption. Right. Because, you know, that's another key topic. There Christians you go. love there you redemption. Go. Right, right, right. Go ahead. For he had visited and redeemed his people. Now, it says, blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Israel. Yep. But he had visited and redeemed his people. Again, Luke is in the New Testament. <laughs> in the New ahead, Testament. Cat. In the New <laughs> Testament. And we're going to go back there later. So, that, 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 he started off with an error. Mm-hmm. To, 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 he destroyed himself already. Right. You can cut his video off already from right there. <laughs> but now, let's go to 208. Let's go to 208. So, it is how you must always have your mind thinking forwardly. That's why the scripture saying what saying. Read it again, Captain. Where there is no vision. If you don't have the vision to think beyond where you are, the people perish. You will perish. You understand? So we must continue to move forward. Whoa, wait. He's not a black man. He's not a white man. 
He's the son of man. <laughs> and he's in a dimension where he don't even have to have skin color because he don't have to have skin. What? <laughs> they so dumb. Somebody told me that because I said in one message that it was, you know, God's image was translucent. Jesus' image was translucent. How do you know it's translucent? The Bible don't say it's translucent. Well, it's translucent as far as our eyesight is because we see skin, but we can't see into that dimension. There's no need for Bruh. skin in that dimension. Now, now, he said there's no need for skin in that dimension. Last I checked, nigga, <laughs> Jesus walked the earth as a man. Right. That's why he was able to atone for our sins. Right, right. Because if he was in some translucent skin, in a translucent body, he wouldn't be able to be the perfect sacrifice for us as he wants to hit on later in, the, in his video, which he talks about so eloquently. Yeah. So how could he atone for his people if he didn't live like his people? Right. What brother you know that's translucent? I've never seen never, a translucent ever, brother. Invisible man. I ain't never seen that's him. That's not a movie. Hey, yeah. That's not a movie about that. But uh, <laughs> see how the people, the people so sleep. Yep. He he just told them the Bible don't even confirm what he's right. saying. There you go. Right. But there yet you they, go. Yes. Yes. Yep. yes. Amen. Hey man, y'all dumb as hell. Hey, don't be in a damn fool. This is a scene from what was the movie? Uh, 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 Tyrone. Yeah, Tyrone. Yeah, yeah, that, Tyrone. That's the scene from Tyrone yep. in the go. church, and, and, bro. Uh, 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 Brooklyn, uh, when he said sin, is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he said that Jesus is translucent right. and he wasn't in that dimension of everybody else. Let's see what the Bible says. Give me Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 16. Let's mm -hmm. start there first. Because the Jesus that he's talking about, he was not translucent, y'all. Understand that. He was not translucent. He was born just like everybody else. Right. And that's why what he did was so important because he lived a sinless life in the same carnal flesh and skin that we live in. Right. And because of that, now he was able to atone for our sins, as I already stated. But guess what we're going to use? We're going to use the Bible. Right. He ain't got no scripture to back up what he at just all. said mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. all. Read that. Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 16. Mm -hmm. For verily, he took not on him the nature of angels. Hold on, what did he do? He took not on him the nature of angels. So he was not in some dimension that we could not see clearly of. Right. He saw, we saw him just like we saw everybody else. Mm -hmm. Read. But he took on him the seed of Abraham. Hold on, what did he do? He took on him the seed of Abraham. Meaning what? He took on the flesh and blood as everybody else did. Keep reading. Wherefore, in all things. In what? In all things. In what? In all things. So in all things, what? It behooved him. It behooved him what? To be made like unto his brethren. Hold on. Mm -hmm. If he was made like his brothers, guess what? Everybody else in the Bible has skin right. and flesh and a color, like which he gonna hit on early, uh, uh, later in the show. So why is it now that when you talk about Christ, now he's something different? Right. right. Mm. Because you are lying. What 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 a soundbite said? Why you always lying? <laughs> <laughs> you lying, brother? No, don't make up stuff. Translucent skin. Come on now. <laughs> Y'all got to be kidding me. Read it again. Wherefore, in all things, it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren. Like unto his brethren, read. That he might be a merciful uh -huh. and faithful high priest read. in things pertaining to God. To do what? To make reconciliation. To do what? To make reconciliation for the sins of the people. Because he could not be able to uh, reconcile us if he wasn't a perfect sacrifice made just like us. Right. He wouldn't be fit for that. You can use an angel to come down and sacrifice for us. Right. You can use somebody that was supernatural. No. Mm -mm. He had to use the perfect sacrifice mm -hmm. that went through the same things that we went through. Right. Mm -hmm. hey, Have to be tempted. So there you go. Are. So there you go. He was hung on the cross, but he was translucent. He was translucent. Mm -hmm. There you go. The, the scripture we just read about the sister coming, the, 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 uh, he then coming to him and says, yeah, the dogs eat from the master table. So he was he she was talking to a translucent Christ. There you go. What the hell is this? So well, she is time, a dog. She sniffed him out. Every time Christ healed somebody in the Bible, it was a translucent man right. there 
or a deity that they was able to record that. Right. That's crazy as hell. Hey, go to Matthew 13 and 55. <laughs> so let's see. Did Christ have brothers and sisters? Because if he did, it was made like unto his brothers. Right. So that means all of them was translucent as well. Right, yeah. right, right, yeah. right. <laughs> Read that, please. The kingdom translucent too. Yeah. yeah. Matthew chapter 13 and verse 55. Uh-huh. Is this not the carpenter's Is this not the carpenter's son? Joseph was translucent. Read. Is not his mother <laughs> called Mary? His mother Mary was translucent, read. And his brethren. And what? And his brethren. His brothers had to be translucent, read. James. Uh huh. And Joseph. Uh huh. And Simon. Uh huh. And Judas. Hold on, he had a whole bunch of brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. It would have stated somewhere in this in the, in the scriptures. They would have said somewhere, hey, this family look weird. Right. But they don't say that, read. And his sisters. Hold on, Christ had sisters? And his sisters. Uh -huh. Are they not all with us? Three. Whence then hath this man all these things? So, Christ was born just like the rest of his family. He mm. looked just like the rest of his family. They were all dark-skinned black people. Stop making up stuff. First John 4 and 1. Uh, you got. You also got a uh, First Corinthians fifteen. Go ahead. Let's get that first. Go to Let's First get Corinthians that. fifteen. Get 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 First Corinthians fifteen and four. Read yeah. down to seven. The book of First Corinthians chapter fifteen and verse four. Mm -hmm. My bad. First Corinthians chapter fifteen and verse four. And that he was buried, and he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. Because that's what they love to hang their hat on. Right. right. The resurrection. Yep. Right. The resurrection and the blood. Nothing else matters. Go ahead. And that he was seen of Cephas. Wait a minute. He's translucent. Read that again right. <laughs> and that he was seen of Cephas. So this is after the resurrection? Yep. Go ahead. Then of the 12. Mm -hmm. After that, he was seen of above 500 brethren mm. at once, uh -huh. of whom the greater part remain this present, but some are falling asleep. Go ahead. After that. He was seen of James, uh -huh. then of all the apostles. So wait a minute. How did they all see him? And he looked if the he same was like he was. Right. The same way he looked. Because he had to have the same appearance for them to recognize him. Right. right. Oh, Lord. Hey, hey, can, can I back you up? Uh, can we get Acts chapter 13, verse 30, please? Yep. Hey. So, why, no, you, why you get? I'm sorry. Nah, why, nah, do you think? Why the hell we don't have an image when we Google Christ? There you of go. A translucent. He the Christ. only one that got to understand. Right, right. He That's a hell of a statement because we've been sense. deceived right. by that image. <laughs> yep. But now, when we bring out that he's black, yep. Now he translucent. Now he translucent. Right, yep. right. He the only one with the understand on there. Don't make no sense. All right, go ahead. Read that. Acts chapter 13 and verse 30. Yep. But God raised him from the dead, mm -hmm. and he was seen many days of them right. which came up with him mm. right. from Galilee to Jerusalem, uh -huh. who are his witnesses unto the people. Right, because you read in the New Testament about the apostles being the witnesses of Christ because they actually walked with him. Right. So how could he possibly have witnesses if they never seen him? Yep. Right. We're reading the scripture that proves, just like Cap just backed up in 1 Corinthians, that he actually had men that walked with him, and they were his witnesses to those that didn't see Christ or wasn't around during that time period. There you go. There you go. Crazy. For now. Uh, who is that? Who is that? Yeah, Depp oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, get with, uh, John uh, 738. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, John 738. Uh, perfect timing. <laughs> hey, take the call, y'all. Take the call. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Call it. What's your name? Question, comment. Where you calling from? Hey, Shalom, Captain. Christ bless. Most high Christ bless. I have to get in on this. Yeah, come oh. on, come on. I'll see how's it up. Tag team. Hey, get Luke 2439. Oh, man, you took my precept. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, bring it out. Oh, praise Keep bringing it out. No, nah, you got it. Go ahead, bring it out. Bring it out now. Bring it out. Bring it out. Go ahead. Luke 24, Luke 24, yes, sir. Luke chapter 24 and verse 39. Behold, my hands and my feet. That it is I myself. Handle uh -huh. me and see. Uh -huh. For a spirit hath not flesh and bones as ye see me have. Dang. So Jesus Christ, after he resurrected, mm -hmm. he had an earthly body. There you go. He said, I'm not no spirit. There you go. That brother's tripping, man. There you I go. To bring it out. All <laughs> praise. <laughs> See, that was the last precept. That was going to wrap it all up. <laughs> but go ahead. Go ahead, Dave. Okay. I don't know if I can overcome No, that. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Bring it out. Bring that it was out. too hard. Go Take ahead. my hands. 738. John, chapter 7 and verse 38. Because in Christianity, the biggest issue is that he cannot substantiate anything that he's saying right. with the scriptures. There right? you go. 
So here's what the scriptures say after this call. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Shalom, Shalom, call it. What's your name? Question or comment? Where you call it from? Uh, shalom, leadership. I'm calling from Italy. Hey, oh, it is crazy. Crazy. Oh, crazy. Oh, crazy. What's going on, sis? <laughs> Um, everything is good, it's good. I've been following for the past nine years. I just want to say hey, I appreciate everything you're doing. All praise to the most high. When we going to get out there to okay. Italy? Okay, and we are waiting. <laughs> we are waiting. We saw the, we saw, uh, we was in room with, uh, uh, with, um, Bishop. Okay. We saw the bishop, yes. Oh, so praise. In Rome. We traveled there to see the bishop. Wow. And then uh, a <laughs> captain from London. Yep. We saw them all. All, yes. praises. all praise. All praise to the <laughs> most high, sis. I appreciate so much. I appreciate so much. I all right. Appreciate so much. Thank you for calling <laughs> in, sis. Most high Christ bless. Most high bless. Oh, praise Y'all see that? Y'all see that? We got people from Italy calling in, <laughs> and we got to deal with these pastors talking about Jesus. They got no flesh. Go ahead, read that scripture for those. John chapter 7 and verse 38. Mm -hmm. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, mm -hmm. out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So the scripture had said something about Christ, right? So now the people that saw Christ are going to understand something about the scripture. Read verse 42. Verse 42. Uh -huh. Hath not the scripture said uh -huh. that Jesus Christ. That Christ uh -huh. cometh out of the seed, out of the, what? Out of the seed mm. of David, uh -huh. and out of the town of Bethlehem, where David was. Because Christ was fulfilling the scripture that he would be of the seed of David. Right. So he didn't come in translucent flesh. <laughs> he came as a man. That's fire. Right. Shalom, shalom, caller. What's your name? Question or comment? Where you calling from? Hey, hello, this is Brother Ohio. I'm calling from Lebanon, Pennsylvania, Philly Camp. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Most High Christ blessed. Thank you for calling in. What's your question or comment? Well, comment. I think that guy on the video said that Jesus Christ is translucent in another realm where he didn't <laughs> see him at. Yep. So he didn't see him in another realm. So he can say he's translucent. <laughs> right, right, right. There you go. I clear it up. Yeah. Hey, that's a great point. So he's just going off his own understanding. Exactly. I guess that's what it is. Yep. All I didn't read that nowhere, but he said he was in another realm where he didn't see him at there either. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you on point. You on point. That's a great point you're bringing out. Mm -hmm. All right, all praise. I'm cleared up. I just got more to make sure I was clear with him. <laughs> all praise, all praise. Thank you for calling in. Hey, you know what's you know what's heavy about what the brother said right yeah. there. Real, real quick, real quick. Go back to uh, First Corinthians 15, uh, verse eight. First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse eight. Mm -hmm. And last of all, he was seen of me also. Mm -hmm. As of one born out of due time. He was seen of Paul also. Right. Where was he seen of Paul? That's what, that's, uh, this is why the, the, the Christian church, they must read that's the right. Bible. You got to read the scriptures. But I'm, I just want to say this right quick, uh, Cap, that you notice that he has a crowd that follows him. Mm -hmm. They want to believe there what you he go. says. There you go. You understand? There you go. 100% they want to believe it. They want to believe it bad. They bought in. Hey, so from there, what was I at? First John 4 and 1. That's where we got to go. Because yes, remember, we brought out the brethren. Yahaziel brought out he came back with flesh. Cap brought out that he was seen of 5,000. He was even seen of Paul, who only seen him in the third heaven, mm -hmm. which was another dimension. Another Dang. dimension. <laughs> he had on the 3D goggles. And when he came back, he had on the same. He looked the same. He like, damn, he ain't changed up yet. Make sure I got the right goggles on. All right. Go ahead, read that. First John chapter four and verse one. Uh -huh. Beloved, believe not. Believe. Oh, 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 oh. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Beloved, believe not every spirit. God says, don't believe every spirit. Read. But try the spirit. That's what we're doing right now. We're going through his 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 sermon and we trying the spirit. Read. Whether they are of God. Uh-huh. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Many false prophets. Some got short. They short, chubby, bald-headed with no beard, no fringes. Read. Hereby know ye the spirit of God. This how you going to know if they're in the spirit or not. Read. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. Everybody that 
can't say that Jesus was not translucent. Read. Is of God. They of God. You can trust them if they say he came in the flesh. Yeah. Read. And every spirit that confesseth not. Every spirit what? That confesseth not. Every spirit that says Christ didn't come in the flesh. Read. That Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. Read. Is not of God. Is not of God. So if anybody coming to you with a translucent Jesus, right. they not of God. Right. It's that simple. It is that simple. Now, let's say he was translucent. <laughs> Which he ain't. <laughs> Give me Matthew 2 and 13. And I need Pastor Craig to explain this. Because out. he's going to say something later in, the, in his, his sermon that all people, if you go further back, they yeah. all was black. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if they all was black, Christ was translucent. His brethren had to be translucent. Mm -hmm. Why did he run into Egypt? Read mm -hmm. that. Right. Matthew chapter 2 and verse 13. Uh -huh. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph uh -huh. in a dream, Read. saying, Arise and take the young child uh -huh. and his mother uh -huh. and flee into Egypt. So Joseph had a dream and the angel told him to flee into Egypt. Mm. Right. Egypt is where black people dwell, uh, Pastor Craig. Mm. Why would you take a translucent child into Egypt? <laughs> Everybody's going to know, hey, I seen that translucent baby. Who seen it? I seen him. Read. <laughs> and be thou there until I bring thee word. Uh -huh. For Herod will seek the young child uh -huh. to destroy him. Herod was trying to kill him. Herod was trying to kill him. So they would have easily spotted him out if he did not have flesh like he says he did. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.